So I've attached my thread to the streamer hook here. I've used the streamer hook just to make sure that I have a little bit more of a platform to demonstrate some of this stuff with. So when I come in to attach the wire, I want to make sure that I either get it on the close side or the far side of the hook shank so that it horizontally widens the pattern. And I can do this in a couple different ways. I can put that tip of that wire exactly where I want it and I catch it. I can also cheat. I can put the end of it past and then I can just very simply slide it back and pull it back to where I want it. The other thing too is this is mobile. If this uh, wire ends up a little bit higher than you want it, just take your thumbnail and just push it back down on the side of the shank where you want it. Really important as I wrap backwards that I, from my point of view at least, I don't see this on the other side. I want it to parallel the hook shank. So I'm just going to keep an eye on that. If I need to go up, if I need to go down, I control that. Also equally important as I wrap back, I want to maintain a firm amount of tension. And the reason why is if I put slack into this or I make these wraps a little bit loose, when I go to wrap this wire, it's going to slide either up or down on the hook shank. When I return this thread, really, really important, and I'm going to intentionally kind of build some lumps in here on the back half, but it's really important that I'm consistent with my thread wraps. If I create a big lumpy mess, like some of us do when we lose, lose track and we're not paying attention, as opposed to a nice, smooth, equally spaced thread base, the wire wraps are going to reflect that as I wrap it. And so as we take this wire and we wrap it forward, anything that's uneven, lumpy, or out of place underneath is going to be reflected on top. And you can kind of see how some of these wraps are getting pushed apart. They're not laying down evenly. That's because underneath that, there's lumps and bumps and little peaks and valleys. If I jump forward up here to where my thread wraps are evenly spaced and I lay these wire wraps down, I get a really nice smooth profile. And that's because I made sure that as I laid them down, that I laid them out equally. I didn't build up any landscaping or any profile underneath it. When I finish up, whether I'm at the, uh, the end of the abdomen, the thorax, ribbing, whatever I'm using this for, if you come in with your scissors and you cut this stuff, it dulls your tying scissors really quickly. So I just try to make a point. I come in, I'll pull it up nice and top. I'll take three to four really firm wraps over the wire. And then just come in and grab that wire and use a big sweeping helicopter motion. And you're going to get a nice clean break of that material.